Hey, this is Gatorx, and I've got a huge old box of Elestral stuff. This was actually sent to me straight from Elestral's and A Drive. They hit me up in the DMs and said, "Hey, you want a you want a big box of stuff?" And I said, "Yeah, sure." Uh, this is insane. This just arrived to me. It took a while for me because I'm, uh, you know, in the Western United States, so on the complete other end. But this thing is huge. Uh, let's see, that's like 16 inches long, and it's like five inches tall, and it is heavy very heavy i mean you know when fedex dropped it off it, it was something else so yeah thank you so much elestral's a drive for sending this over it's pretty neat uh I, they wanted me to all you know actually check things out for uh first edition now that it's basically you know all out here so we'll see how things have improved and obviously what's inside here because i <laughs> I, I think there's a lot more in here than, you know, just just a few cards, obviously, so let's get this open. Uh, as you can see, it's it's so big is that, you know, the, the camera has to be so far away. So I'm going to zoom in in a bit, but uh, we're just going to open this up here and uh, we'll take a look at the actual box here because there is a lot going on just from when you open it up here. And I'll get, you know, I'll get a better view of this. Unfortunately, though, you're probably going to see like some of the... Um, some of the, some of the mess of like my setup that is normally hidden because I open smaller things but let's go ahead and dive in in just a bit. I guess the first thing we could do is you know look at this little card here. This is a uh, yeah, thank you card or something like that. Elestral's first edition. Welcome to the mythical world of Elestria. Elestral's was created as a passion project to capture the magic of card games from my childhood and share that same experience with my own children as well as all of you. And here, Dan, aka A Drive, and the Elestral's team signed right here. A little QR code to scan, and of course, here on the back, it looks like we've got a the 2024 roadmap. Very interesting though, yeah, they're planning to release four whole sets this year, that's going to be interesting, and uh, I like to, you know, you got all the extra little stuff here, the little lore chapters every so often, uh, the first one's out now, it's uh, it's like a whole 30 minute lore <laughs> video, it's pretty neat, and uh, you know, some more of the illustrious, so we got a lot going on here, but I guess let's go ahead and get into the stuff here. Uh, as far as the Lestals goes, I think I'm going to make like maybe a few more larger videos, oh gosh. Oh gosh, can you see? Can you see some of what's inside already? So obviously, I guess first of all, <laughs> oh gosh, got a big old, got a big old booster box here, which that's probably what was really, really heavy. I don't think I'm gonna open this up on this video here today because it's a whole dang booster box, uh, first edition one here. So I think it has a different box topper too. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, we're gonna set that to the side, and if you want to see this opened up in a video, we'll go ahead and do that again separately because you know there's a lot here we got to go. Um. Let's see. oh okay. Looks like there's a playmat here. I actually do not own one of the Illustrals playmats, uh, but we'll go ahead and check that out in a second. I guess we'll go ahead and get uh, some of the other things out here. We'll set it aside and then we'll kind of like reconfigure everything using this playmat as the backdrop to open up uh, things here. <laughs> All right. Oh sheesh! All right, so starter decks, and this is one of every starter deck because there are five in total for uh, sheesh. I can't even hold these uh, for <laughs> for Thunder Earth. Uh, wind, fire, and water. Gosh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna open these up either on this video right now because I did already open up my, um, I did already open up some starter decks from my Kickstarter box. So, you know, if you haven't seen that, that's on the channel here and I'll be, of course, linked everywhere. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, these are big and that's probably also what's making it heavy. So, I guess the stuff that, um, sheesh, I'm running out of room. I can't even set these aside. So, I guess the stuff that we can open up today <laughs> looks like this here. Uh, oh, sheesh. Oh, that's Shatter Stars. Okay. Uh, well, let's talk about, I guess, the little blister packs first here. So that's a pack, a promo card. Pretty neat here. And we'll take a closer look at those. But we got two packs here. And uh, sh some of Shattered Stars. So this is um, an extra thing that they're doing in between sets, you know, that you can, uh, that you can receive. And these are all... Uh, reprints they are like alternate arts and some you know extra shiny hollows but if by chance you do not get shattered stars um if like you happen to miss out on it all these cards are obviously in the main set in the starter deck stuff like that but these are like kind of an extra thing think of it i guess kind of like um the play packs if you participate in uh, if you participate in like pokemon organized play or i guess maybe the ots packs in Yu-Gi-Oh. that's what i would uh that's what i would equate these to um so that's pretty neat i i did not uh, get on the Shattered Stars train, so that's going to be pretty neat to open up some of those. Uh, inside, also still, got another, <laughs> got a Fleurmine pin, which I do own one of these from the Kickstarter, so having two of those is cool. And, uh, ooh, okay. So this is an interesting packaging here. This looks like a promo card. I believe it is one card in here. Uh, we'll open that up when we zoom in. And is that everything in the box? This is, this is big. <laughs> so let me zoom in, set up that playmat, and we'll get to all those packs. So here is that playmat. 
unravel that there and it looks like it's Atlantis can you see that pretty nicely yeah yeah okay okay that's feeling interesting that's feeling kind of neat I think it's gonna need some time to go ahead and like flatten out just a bit um, okay they got the they got the interesting the edge here where it's kind of like more I guess kind of like has that kind of stitching at the edge uh, can you see the K here yeah okay so that's I guess this is one of the leftovers from the Kickstarter batch it's pretty neat I think I'm a bigger fan of the the new playmats of course you know the ones that just launched for first edition and they have you know a lot more of the actual creatures on here this is a landscape but I guess you know we got we got a galaxy right over here we got a foamy right there and can I see any other little dudes I think those are the two that are on here but I guess you know that's pretty neat seeing that here I see I love water in other games uh not the biggest fan of water in elestrals at the moment i think it needs a little more before it can really take off but hey that's pretty cool to have that here so let's get to these the goodies that we can open up and uh let's see let's see what we get inside so i guess we'll start off with this the promo so this here is a let me adjust my light as well because we had to <laughs> had to zoom in quite a bit so here is that uh promo card it's a uh, yeah i think it's a galaxy card huh um I think it's a Stellar, huh? Interesting packaging here, and unfortunately a little warped, but we're gonna we're gonna flatten that out. Uh, I think that's kind of an issue that so far Elestrals has had with some of the hollows. We'll see how they look in the packs. Hopefully they're better in the packs, but I assume with uh, you know just one card being in a pack here, <laughs> it would get like that. But there it is, Galaxy. That is a Stellar, and it's uh, yeah, it's one of the promo cards. Uh, this like the Stellars. If by chance you don't know, if you're watching like anything Elestrals for the first time, Stellars are basically shinies in uh, Pokemon that's what the equivalent would be they're alternate variants you know different colors and uh, the galaxy one I think was designed by uh, someone in the community there's a whole thing going on there but there there's that hollow pattern for it that's a pretty neat can you get a good look at that I, I think you know galaxy is pretty cool and you know this uh, is kind of a little crazy card again I was talking about water but uh, probably one of the best water cards that uh, that there is there <laughs> so that's pretty cool Again, everything in the packs, we'll see how the hollows look for that. I think, you know, maybe just because, like, they could have used, like, uh... Well, let me see. How would you package this? I guess, you know, maybe a piece of cardboard in there or cardstock. Uh, keep it flat, but I I don't know the logistics of including that. So, we'll see what's up here. Uh, let's get to... Hey, let's get to the blister packs first. So, these ones also are using Stellar promos. And uh, also interesting now, you know, the uh, some of the runes, the, the items, the spell cards, basically, can be Stellar. We got a Stellar Ambrosia, Stellar Nectar of the Gods. I, I'm a big fan of the... I'm a big fan of the uh, Black Chalice, the blue liquid there for, for Nectar of the Gods. Uh, so, let's open these up. I have not opened any of the blister packs like this. And, you know, I'm actually... I'm never good at opening these for whatever card game they're for. Um... But we'll see, we'll see how the... Okay, relatively easy. I mean, the same level of ease as I normally would with any other kind of... <laughs> with any other kind of card game. Let's get this other one open here, and then we'll look at the, the packs and the promos all together. And, you know, maybe I should have read the fancy back on here as well. Uh, or is there anything interesting? I guess that's kind of a blurb. I guess you can pause and read if you're interested in that. Uh, there we are. The Nectar of the Gods and Ambrosia. Unfortunately, these ones are also getting kind of warped. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm really surprised that like, um, you know, even my Pokemon card, like all my hollows are starting to warp if I don't like, if I leave them out for a millisecond, like including my Pokemon and my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So uh, we got, we got to get like, a, we got to make a card flattener product. <laughs> But hey, that's pretty neat. Uh, we'll, we'll see how those flatten out. I think, you know, obviously my stuff from my Kickstarter is kind of like set after I've, you know, kept some stuff or kept them there. Uh, but let's get into these packs. These feel a little different from the ones I remember last time. Uh, okay. Oh, that's interesting, huh? Yeah, these are the stellar variants of, of these dudes here. Uh, what, Sonicore and... Why am I forgetting the bull's name? Why, 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 why am I forgetting the bull's name? Uh... But yeah, let's let's go in. Uh, oh, Tectaris, that's it, Tectaris. Uh, let's open these up though. I think they should be pretty easy, or or I don't know, I don't know what the. Um, there we go. That's that's good enough. So uh, at least everything's organized with they're at the back. Island of Aeola, <laughs> and Foloi Forest right behind it, and okay, good, <laughs> the good. I guess that's that's all for the, that's all for the stadiums there. Got a Jolton. Got a, an Ursier, big fan of the bears. Got a Clovey, uh, Javlantis, an Ivory. Got a, got a Foamy. Got a Cracking. Oh, really? C 
cracking is a, a regular rare. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could have sworn that was like a hollow beforehand or uh, oh gosh, am, am I gonna am I just not knowing this now? Is that like they can be like non hollow variants of them? But hey, that was a very water themed pack. Pretty neat. I can't remember how it was, I guess, compared to like my Kickstarter box, but uh, I think that was a pretty good set so far. Let's go ahead and open this up here second pack i kind of like how thick the packs feel and the cards at least you know they're very good and packed tight here so any you know any hollows we happen to pull here tad puff big fan of tad puff i think i think there's a lot of stuff that I could potentially do in the future jolton foloy forest uh earth smog all right all right randomization's a lot better rumma gem this is a this is a cool dude for earth spark it oh gosh not you <laughs> not you waspire uh, Signetric, and I think this is, okay, there's the rare Trifernal there, and we got the Teratlas in the pack. So no hollows from these little packs here, but uh, hey, that was good to open, just having more there, getting to take a look at that. Let's get into those Shattered Stars packs, because these definitely will have hollows. So I think, yeah, these are actually two different uh, two different ones, because they're going through each, uh, each kind of element in Shattered Stars. So right now this is, uh, I think we start off with Thunder and then Wind, so I guess let's go Thunder first and open that up there so again this is going to have like uh, a set um uh like set certain cards in it and then i think some of the hollows are randomized but again everything in here is like a reprint or like um like a hollow eye or hollow fied version enhanced version of uh of you know one of the existing cards so here we are uh toxion yeah, yeah, D or different art, that's right. It's like alternate arts as well. Toxion, I think, yeah, yeah, that's right. The, I think it's like the first five cards or so are always the same. And again, it's the it's themed to Thunder right here. So we got Toxion, got a Lycavolt. Ooh, I do really like that hard for Lycavolt. Uh, Spark it. Okay, the lighting's just different on that dude. I, I know the Stellar for it is like very different, but I think it's just the lighting. That's the base color, so it looks a little different. Got a Quackle, funny little duck. I think that's one's the, the 3D model art of it. Got an ass rabbit. Ooh, always good to have more of those. We got uh okay, and I think these are the hollows now. Ooh, we got a Volt Tempest here. This card is kind of insane because it's like just it's just a big guy that just like really stops your opponent. And yeah, so this is one of the ones that I guess is randomized, and this is like what I'm talking about. It's a different art of it. Do I even have I don't think I have a regular Volt Tempest in my collection, but this is like um you know, the uh, stained glass window, I guess, stained glass version of it. And I think that's kind of a cool idea to include things like that. And the other one is a Zapter. Oh, okay, this is one that is guaranteed, right? Yeah, yeah, because it comes with um, because it comes with the front there. So that, that these are all apparently going to connect into a big art. So let's see, I guess, the next one. Uh, the next one, Shattered Stars Wind. And I guess we'll go ahead and get a, um, get, why am I forgetting, Lycoris to connect to that. All right, so this one again, win Hydrake, big fan of Hydrake. It's a funny little dragon dude, becomes a big old Hydra. And yeah, that one looks like, uh, yeah, 3D model, shell, cell shaded. Got an Aeromare. Yeah, I really do like some of the alternate arts for these, the ones that like really, really just get the designs to pop. Glidesdale, Exalt Hair. Ooh, what's dude looking at? Uh, got a Peliquaris. That's a good one. Got a Pantera. Ooh, boy. Yeah, this is the one. This is the big dragon I was talking about. I, I'm a fan of this one. I think this is probably one of my favorites in Elestrals. The big old, the big old five-headed Hydra here. Oh gosh, that looks so nice. That looks so nice. I kind of think I actually kind of think I like this better than like the full art box topper. And then, yep, there's the Lycoris there. Do they go right next to each other, or do they? Where do they go in this? Oh, I don't. I don't know the full picture. But these guys are apparently all going to connect all the spirits. Um, I, I, I love the idea of like the full art spirits. I, I could imagine people really wanting to have just a full, just a full spirit deck of these guys. But hey, I think that that's just about all we've got. Uh, mostly was promos, like I said. That big old booster box we're gonna open up. And wait, you know what? Actually, maybe I should just get to the starter decks here. One second, let me get those back. And also, I guess I should have mentioned too. We got uh, we got no or just about minimal warping. These look a lot better. These hollows here, again, these ones were inside packs, so I really think that actually being inside the pack helped a lot because, you know, when I was opening these up, these are, like, tight. They are sealed, sealed, so I think they're doing a much better job here, so great job, great job, guys. That was, you know, one of my, like, points of feedback 
from the Kickstarter thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the starter decks. So I'm not going to go ahead and open these up. and go, Well, I'm going to open these up, but I'm not going to go through every single card. Uh, but the thing is, the starter decks still have a chance to include some stellars in them. So we're going to check these to see what's inside. And obviously, I'm going to want these cards open because these are very useful. I, I, you know, I don't think I mentioned just the, like, the concept of like the starter decks. I think they're a bit much. Uh, they're like, what, $19.99? For a starter deck, I think that's a bit much, especially since like the actual inside is relatively minimal. Um, but obviously, you know, being sent to more is nice. But they do include a lot of like good stuff. Normally, I think if you get one or two, um, you're pretty set for most things. There are a few things in the set, obviously, you'd probably want to pick up. But um, at least like they, 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 don't, they don't do the whole thing of like, oh, there's only one copy of everything inside the deck. There's, there's at least like two to three maybe three yeah i believe there should be three of like some of the basic uh some of the basic little one cost guys uh but for the most part i think the big things you would want to get these for is the runes because those are you know our staples that can apply to basically everything so let's go ahead and open these up and just check for stellars really quick all right so here we are with all the starter decks here there all right so here we are with all the starter decks there was a lot of stuff to open up so it took a while but let's go ahead and just kind of uh reveal the top like i said i'm not going to go through all of these because i did already do that in uh, my kickstarter bundle box but let's see uh okay we got a regular spouter there we got a regular sluggle there oh no let's do that last just in case got a regular quackle there regular necroff there and a regular hydrate there that's normally where the where the stellar would be and i guess you know maybe i could uh, go through these and check but hey you know having just more of the starter deck cards or um it's gonna be gonna be very good and helpful there it's feel a little odd just kind of in the um you know initially once you're opening them up but obviously when you stick them in sleeves they'll be they'll be perfectly fine i should be showing them on camera here or whatever but hey that's it for that's basically it for <laughs> this opening here um obviously if you want to join the hunt for uh stellars i've got that <laughs> she should have big old booster box here that'll be a separate video because this is already getting very long so once again thank you so much to dan and the whole team at uh Elestrals for sending this on over i i really enjoyed it there's a lot to go on like i said we still got that whole dang booster box to go through so like i said stick around if you want to see that open here on this channel uh, i might probably do some of like kind of a big review recap or whatever just first thoughts on elestrals over on the main channel obviously uh, more scripted and you know in my usual style over there just because i think this is really interesting like the whole project and uh because you know it's it's pokemon related and i've kind of been wanting to discuss things like that obviously not pokemon related pokemon inspired um or adjacent right that because that's something i really want to talk more about on the main channel uh, just a bit, and especially I think like this, um, okay, okay, I guess I'll, I'll save all that for the discussion. There, there's a lot that I could say, definitely, and a lot about, you know, I guess why I'm pretty curious and pretty interested in this, but I think it's a fun game. I think it's pretty neat, obviously, you know, to just try out with some friends. So far, I have not been able to join in on any of the, any of the webcam tournaments, which they've been having so much more of those a lot you know a lot more lately uh, but i guess you know now that i got some bling maybe i can show up to one of those and uh and, and do something cool it, it's just a matter of timing for me being, but hey if you enjoy the video leave a like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think about elestrals if you'd like to see more i don't know how much more i would do here on the channel obviously we got that booster box open maybe i'll uh jump in on some shattered stars in the future and uh, we'll see what happens once uh frostfall comes out later in the year so hey if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe like i said anyway this is Gatorx. thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you all later